Hi friends, this is John Sumner from On the Hunt for Treasures. Do you like digging and diving for a little bit of history, like antiques? Or how about finding out a little history about towns in our area? Although we always find some great items, the real treasures are the places we go and the people we meet. So join us, won't you, for another episode of On the Hunt for Treasures. Friends, thanks for joining us today. We're going to be going to historic Metropolis, Illinois. A lot of people call it home to Superman, but today we're going to show you another side of that city. Located in Massac County on the banks of the Ohio River, Metropolis has played a key role in America's history. It is believed that the Native Americans originally populated this area, taking advantage of its natural benefits. The daughters of the American Revolution rallied efforts in 1903 to purchase 24 acres surrounding historical location. In 1908, Fort Massac was officially decreed as Illinois' first state park. I've known Mayor Billy for a long time, so I'm gonna turn everything over to him because he knows more about Metropolis than I do. The beautiful city of Metropolis, Illinois on the historic Ohio River, uh, Metropolis is a um, river city that in the day, the uh, city of Metropolis was established in uh, 1839. Um, we have progressed to a river town to the, probably the most famous thing that we're noted for here in the city of Metropolis is the home of Superman. We do believe here in Metropolis that uh, uh, we stand for what Superman stands for, truth, justice, and the American way. Metropolis has many things that goes on in our city during the year. We have a Superman celebration that actually is the second full weekend of June each and every year. Uh, lasts for about four days. 25, 30,000 people here have one of the largest archery tournaments in the country. We have the famous Fort Massac State Park, which is the oldest state park in the state of Illinois and the only state park in Illinois that's within the boundaries of the city of Metropolis. City of Metropolis, Massac County, and uh, is the county seat of Massac. All of our, 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 our southern cities and things like that uh, have tried to compete uh, with your box stores and stuff like that, but the way we compete is unique items um, like the antique business and stuff like that. There's probably nobody uh, that hasn't seen the pickers. Uh, John is a, is a picker. Uh, John, if you've ever John, seen John's business and stuff like that, he strives on unusual, one-of-a-kind things, and that's what makes his show unique. I've stopped in many times to see Joey and Leanne at Super City Antiques, and today is no exception. Let's just see what they have to show us today. Hello! Oh, Haven't well. seen you in a while. How you doing? Good, Dad, how, how you doing? doing? Well, we were in town. We thought we'd come by and check y'all out, see what you had. Welcome. Yeah, it's You're a, always welcome. They tell me that you have some real bargains today. Oh, we got bargains every day. There you go. That's what I like every to hear, day. bargains every day. Yeah. Leanne, what are you into? Anything. Okay. You never know what we're going to have in the store, so. Okay, good, great. Well, we're going to look, well, we're always, you know me, I'm always looking for something kind of automotive, but my wife likes some of the other stuff. I think she'll oh, rocks and yeah. jugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll start out with, you, you want to show me around here a little bit? Sure. I'm, well, we got a lot of If you have some Metropolis them. stuff is what I'd like to see, stuff from Metropolis here. Okay, we got Metropolis saloon jugs. It was a bar in Metropolis, probably on the courthouse square, the old courthouse. Okay. Now this one's the arcade saloon, which is saloon jugs are really hard to find anyway. Okay. And there aren't very many from Metropolis. This is, uh, we can't figure out where this saloon was, probably okay. on the courthouse square right. also. Right, how about this one right here, it says Sturgis. Same bar, different owner. Okay. That's IA right. Sturgis. Isn't that something? And they come in like, this is a half a gallon, this is a gallon? Right. Okay, half a gallon, gallon. Okay, I see a lot of Coke bottles up here. What's so special about, 
I've never seen this one before called the double line. Okay, that was a competitor for RC or double cola. Uh huh. And it was bottled here in Metropolis. Yeah, it was bottled right. in Metropolis. Well, I'll be darned. I've never seen that one before. Bottled of course, under... they bottled Dr. Pepper here too, John. And this one's from Mayfield. I don't have a Metropolis. Okay, one okay. Right but now. they did bottle here in Metropolis yes, too. Yes, they did. The Dr. Hen 2 4. Yeah. Right. And these are Harrisburg bottles. They have Little Egypt. Isn't That's that something? I've never seen that before. Now, what was Wolf's? Beverage. Wolf's Beverages, isn't that something? And now that's a Cairo Coke bottle. And that's. And the they did have a bottling company in Cairo, I know. I knew they had one right. over in Cairo. We didn't have one in Metropolis because we were so close to Paducah. Paducah, right. Paducah, Paducah had, right, had right. the market on that. Well, that's wonderful. And like this that. is a Paducah Pepsi. Okay, Paducah Pepsi. Now, mm -hmm. one dash. One dash. That's an older one that we went to two dashes. Two dashes after that. So right. when you see the Pepsi had a little one dash on here and they went to. The newer ones have the two dash. We kind of forgot about that. That's pretty neat. And this is a Paducah. Right. Okay. Paducah, Cairo, Harrisburg, Metropolis. Yeah, all right here local. That's, yep. that's wonderful. People never realized we had bottling companies like this here. <laughs> oh, there were so many. This is one of our mixed variety, anywhere from glassware down to Glassware's kind of slowed down a lot. It's sure really it slow. Yeah. And of course, uh, we got lots of smalls. Then we have a wide variety of men's stuff like calls. Oh, That's yeah. a Ron Popeil pocket fisherman. Wow. Which you don't see in Let the original box. Uh, this is just a small variety of marbles. Old marbles or yeah, I'm, I was when I was little everybody had marbles. We had our right, pockets we shot full of them. marbles. Yeah, yeah, we had them full. That was our toys was marbles. So. Okay, some of these are specialty sets. They were made that company is no longer in business. Okay. Now these are hand blown, one of a kind marbles. Oh, okay, all up in here. All up in there. Wow. And that's some of these the are old, little. These are some of the old ones that are yeah, just set old in there. Packaging. Yeah. Packaging in original packages. Right. This is very unique. Red Rider shooting marbles. Or it says seven cents on it. Right. That's what they. <laughs> so they sold, sold them for before. seven cents back then. Originally. Yeah. Yes. And then this this one here says ten cents on it. Uh, and there's one that says five cents. So these are these are really with all the original packaging. This right. is the way I picked them up when I was when I was a kid, and uh, I didn't realize that Coca-Cola sponsored them, and I guess movies and all. You actually bought a six-pack of Coke. They will be hanging on the Coke bottles. Hanging on the Coke bottles. So right. so, so when you bought a six-pack, you got a free bag of marbles. That's all right. That's yeah. all right. I, I do remember that a, a little bit, not a whole lot. I've never I, seen so many of these things. They're well, just, the owners bought an entire marble estate. It was over one million marbles. Oh, wow. We wow. have shipped marbles to California, to oh, Colorado. Oh, I bet. I bet. And I've never seen so many. What a, a collection. A lot of them are machine made, and some of them are, these are all actually made out of marble. Those are not glass. That's, That's marble. all pure. Marble. Is that where marble gets its name from? Right. Because they were mm -hmm. made out of marble. And a lot of the early ones were made out of clays. Yeah, you know, and I remember the old clay, clay models. You'd, mm -hmm. you'd hit something with them, and they crack and break all apart. Oh, yeah. All right, now what are all these these jugs over here? These are glass rolling pins. They used I've to seen, I thought some, that's what that was. You put warm water or cold water in there. It's according to the dough right, that you're rolling right. out. Yeah. And it just you roll the dough with it. Okay. And, and when we bought the marbles, we had 100 of these full of marbles. <laughs> these were, so the, the these were full of marbles. Right, and a lot so of you people had a, still two. display them that way. Okay, so you know, you, the rolling pins had the double use. Right. Isn't that something? Wow. But so we've got plenty of rolling pins left. Now, normally they would just fill this full of water, right? Right. Warm well, water not or cold water. Okay. Yeah, for making dough. Yeah, here's one thing that I really liked, and I, very unusual, is this uh, Fort Campbell. Welcome to you to Fort Campbell. Uh, home. Of, I know it's home of the 101st Airborne Division, but that MWR is serving America's Army. I, I, I haven't seen that before, so. It, what they tell me, it was part of the recreational part. Like if you were stationed there, you had a weekend pass, you could go to this company and rent kayaks, tents, camping Okay, equipment. so it was kind of like a company rental type thing. Right, and there were four of these signs. Three of them were shredded and that one was saved. So, it's so this a is a one of a kind that after they dissolved it or removed it. And then right. A new company took over the recreational 
aspect of the Ford. Oh, that's and it's just a beautiful, beautiful sign. I just really like. Everybody that. loves it because that has all the symbols. It for has the all the symbols of the airborne. Yes. That is really neat. Don't run off and leave us now. We'll be right back. If you haven't been to Sisters and Friends lately, a new season of unique furniture and finds has arrived. We specialize in and carry quality antiques, farmhouse originals, and custom painted furniture, including our new Bramble line and so much more. Let us help you pick out just the right piece for your home. We invite you to stop by and check out hundreds of new items throughout the store to brighten up your home. We have something for every room. Sisters and Friends, just 15 minutes past Kentucky Oaks Mall on Highway 60. Any piece, any color, endless possibilities. Would it be able to give Ivy to go two hundred fifty thousand dollars on it? Folks, gonna settle the highest, the best bid. I need some money. It's your money, not mine. Somebody Chris came highly recommended from some family friends over here. So I contacted Chris. He was uh, very respectful, very professional. Uh, came with a plan, and so we made our decision almost immediately. Chris has been very sympathetic. He's been very empathetic. Chris is very respectful of the contents. Chris has been great to work with and really helped guide us through this process. With me being two and a half hours away, Chris has kind of stepped into a bigger role than, than most probably would. So that's really helped on my side where I'm not having to come back and forth, you know, two and a half hours each way uh, to take care of the little things. Chris has been able to step in and handle it almost like it's his own. Hi, I'm Jerry Summers. Come on out to New Wake Flooring. We're still going to offer that free install on Mohawk carpet. We still got that luxury vinyl tile down here. Wood look and tile look. Several different colors in stock. As low as 49 cents a square foot. Hey, if it's row vinyl you're looking for, we've got several rows in stock. And free install if you get it here. Hey, if you know someone doing some flooring, we now offer gift cards. Blink, I'm gone. Jerry, you know you're still here, right? Man, I got work to do. At First Community Bank, we believe you will treasure how simply convenient banking can be. From multiple office and drive through locations to online and mobile banking services, we strive to offer the things that matter most to you. We also think you will treasure our people, from a life-friendly voice on the phone to having a local and knowledgeable lending staff that knows your name and makes serving you a priority. Stop by one of our locations to see what hometown community banking is all about. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Mike, I want you to show me these guitars. And guitars is, is a thing, it's uh, been around for years, and, and I don't know Absolutely. much about them, so you've got to give me a little story on them. Now, what is this one right here? Uh, that uh... That's a Dobro, okay. and it's played with a slide bar and picks. Okay, and how about this one next to it right here? Those oh, are, these are kids type, aren't they? Yeah, or? They are, they're called parlor guitars and uh, campfire guitars. Okay. Uh, we got a, a Sundown Serenade. They're, these are actually remakes of the old 50s ones that they made. Oh, yeah. They did, made, you, did you have Gretsch. Did you buy a collection of these to have these, or you play a guitar? I play guitar a little bit. And okay. I, I, and, uh, How about the, some of these others, banjos and all that kind oh, of stuff? Oh, I don't play a banjo. I'm primarily a mandolin player. And the next one's a harmony? It's an old harmony guitar. It's probably from the 1950s. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, and the, it actually needs a little work, but it, it will be a great guitar if somebody okay. would read and it. You could tell it's got a little wear on it. Somebody's used it. Somebody has used it okay. a lot, yes. Yeah. It has and that herringbone uh, inlay around it. Now, what's the most unusual? That one up there, uh, folk craft, or is that is that real unusual? That's actually a, a handmade mountain dulcimer. It's uh, created in the Appalachians. Okay. And that was one, still one of their primary instruments is in that the right? Appalachian Wow, that's, that's really a neat one. The one this side of it is a little taterbug mandolin. A taterbug and mandolin. it's a Montgomery Ward. It's the Apollo. Is so the Montgomery right? Ward, Sears, and all them sold. Right. I remember them selling guitars and stuff back then. They sold bolts. They sold everything. They was probably around 1900. Yeah, yeah. And now I did take, I did play the accordion back when I was young. Oh, I took well, accordion we'll just get lessons. it down and let you play a little I, bit. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I, I think I picked up C chord. That's it. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was the easiest because it had the little button there, little finger button that told you where C chord where was. Where C was at. Where yeah, C was at, and then the rest of them it didn't. Yeah, but that's where you started at. Yeah, they got to okay. start somewhere. Don't you got to start know. somewhere. Wow, Crocs. I love Crocs, Leanne. Hey, good. Yeah, deal. let's check them out. We seem to always have some Crocs. Whoa. 
This one's got Dawson Springs on it. That's nice. That, uh, I've seen that. Yeah. Oh, and this 10 gallon, I love it. I've got a two, three, and a five, and I think an eight gallon, but I don't have this 10 gallon. Oh, cool. and we just oh. got that one in from one of our vendors. And, uh, and that's a Western, the Western. Exactly, with no yes. cracks in perfect condition. That's beautiful. And Perfect for your umbrellas or yeah. yardsticks if you collect Or a lot stick. of flowers. Well, there you go. <laughs> and then this is a five gallon red, red wing. wing. My That's husband's favorite. Too. He absolutely loves it. Yeah. I've got them all, I think, but this 10 gallon, I like that a lot. There you go. We'll let you take it home with you today. Well, let's see. Two, 250. 250. Did you do any better than that? Mmm. I tell you what, let's go eat lunch and let's talk over lunch. <laughs> hey, that's about Sissy's down the street. We'll go Perfect. eat lunch. They got very good sandwiches. So. We'll do that. We'll talk yeah. about it. Well, it looks like Tammy may have beat me and found <laughs> the best deal of the day. Now, I want you to join us while we go check out Sissy's Sweet Shop and have a little lunch. That name means a lot more than just Sissy's Sweet Shop, and we're going to find out what it is. Wow, this food here at Sissy's is really great. I'm glad you suggested that today. Yeah, it is a good good, good place. place. Too close yeah, to us yeah, sometimes. Yeah, love it. All the sweets. Looks like we got a lot of good desserts. We'll have to try it a yeah, little bit. Yeah, exactly. But let's talk about that crock. That's been on my mind. Um, you had 250 on it. Mm -hmm. You ever decided you could do any better? Well, yeah, I guess. Um, how about two? Would you take it home today? I think I can do two and take it home. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Hello, hello. My wife just made a deal over there. She said I can sweep myself up a little bit. Well, okay. What do you got here? We can fix you up. We've got all kinds of sweets. Oh, I seen some of us I walked by. How long have you been in business here? We have been, the business has been here three years. Kim and I are business partners. Okay, and, and bought the business. this is Kim. This is Kim. And? I'm Allison. Allison, okay. Yes. We bought the business two years ago. Um, October 1, next week, I guess, is wow. our second anniversary. And you sell sandwiches, too? We do. Because I know you do that, because I, I had that turkey cranberry panini. Yeah. Oh. It's so good, good, isn't it? But it still left a little room for some dessert. Of course, always. Yes. Okay, well, I think I might go with, uh, I'm going to go with the chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cookie right here. Next to it. All right, one of those, and my wife, she likes that white uh, mac or macadamia. Nut. Yeah, macadamia yeah. nut. And one of these, uh, my grandbaby likes that uh, one with the little M and M's in it. Yeah, M and M's. So uh -huh. we'll, we'll do one of each of those. You make pies? We do make pies. Uh, we do batches of pies, special order. Okay. Um, the business that was before us in this building was Farley's Cafeteria okay. and they were famous for black bottom pies. What did you say? Black bottom black pie? Black bottom pie. Okay. Which is a pie crust with a chocolate custard, uh -huh. a vanilla custard, <laughs> cream, whipped cream on top and chocolate chips. So the, when Kim and I bought the business we invited the previous owner of Farley's to come in and she shared with us her black bottom pie recipe. Oh, isn't and that so, wonderful? Yes, and so, so it's a history here yes, too. Yes, it is. I tell you, I never knew you existed here. You just, but just, a, but it was beautiful. I'm just, oh, just, thank you. and one of food I had was just wonderful. So I really appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate, appreciate you coming in. Yeah, yeah, just another treasure here in town. <laughs> Metropolis has several neat little shops in downtown area and its historic area and the old brick buildings and the beautiful restorations. So come on and join us and let's stop in and visit some of them. Oh, I just love this place. Look at this. Hi. 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 Yes. Welcome to the 606 Market. Right downtown Metropolis. This is wonderful. Right on Market Street. Did you redo all this yourself? We did. The three of us refurbished the entire place using repurposed items. Oh, and, and you sell antiques and things like that, too? A variety too? of things. Each booth has its own vendor. They make their own items, find their own things, create their own things. That's great. Yep. Well, you don't mind? We're going to look around. Oh, it changes constantly. So okay. Wander. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Lots of really, really nice stuff. And you're getting into the season, too. We try to keep it seasonal, so it does constantly change. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's in those shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so glad you preserved the history of the building. 
you know. Yes. That you had the ceilings with we the... We tried to make it more like it originally was. We originally had the skylight here. Oh, so this is... And keeping the brick and all in yep. here. This is really well, nice. It was the paneling skylight. when we got in here. Um, when we came in here, it was a drop ceiling down to about here. I could touch it. Like, oh, um, so you had a <laughs> lot of renovation. Yeah, we did. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here, we're going, getting ready to have our eight year anniversary. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And you're right here at Main Street Metropolis. Yes, uh huh. This on Market is, Street. On Market Street Metropolis. One thing that fascinates me so much is these socks. I've never seen so many socks. People Can love you tell socks. me a little bit about what, why you got into socks? Well, it just, well, for one thing, my son was a wrestler. And oh, okay. all the guys loved to wear the funny, crazy socks. Yeah. And so it just seems like socks fit everyone. So. <laughs> this is really a, a treasure. I call it a treasure in town. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, these are one thing that I'm really fascinated with because I, I, I like something a little different. And this brings me back to some old days. This lamp's right here. I actually made a scale, had an old scale and made a lamp out of oh, it. Yeah. And then, some that oh, are, you got some more like up here? Like the vintage um, washing machines. Oh, and that's cute, yeah. yeah. And we also have some that are like in a truck and all okay. different kinds of lamps. Oh, I like that. That's, that's very unique, yeah. One of our most unique selling items that we have in the shop and one of my personal favorites is the Tetelestai bracelets. It's the last words that Jesus spoke on the cross. It means it is finished to remind us that all of our sins are paid in full. And we don't try to make money off this. We're just trying to help spread God's word. And we have tourists that travel from all over the world and they take them and they help spread God's word. Isn't that's that's my one. favorite And come thing. in all different colors. Yes, okay. all different colors, sizes. And, white. and they just kind of just wrap around your, wrap around your right. arm. Mm -hmm. And it tells okay. the message on the back. Oh, the message so, is on there. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. yes, we enjoyed our stay here. Well, thank you so thank much you for coming. Thank you us around. Yep, come back and see us. I will do it. <laughs>
So Massac County and Metropolis have a very rich history dating all the way back to the early 1700s. That's when the French came to explore the area. Now in 1757, this area was known as Fort de la Ascension and was seen during the French and Indian War. Now, after that happened, the Chickasaw came into the area and completely burnt down the fort as they knew at that time. Then in 1794, George Washington commissioned that Fort Massac be built in preparation for the American Revolution because of the high strategic planning above the Ohio River. Again, the fort never saw action uh, of any military sorts other than being a training ground. Now in 1811 and 1812, the New Madrid earthquakes completely destroyed this area uh, along the Ohio River. But in 1839 is when Metropolis actually came to be. William McBain and James Wilcox found the area and are the actual founders of Metropolis. They saw the Great Riverway and anticipated Metropolis, Illinois to be a transportation mecca in the state of Illinois. Really, Metropolis was planned to be the Chicago of the times. Now, that's where we get the name Metropolis. They wanted the area to have a grand name uh, for the grand vision that they had. It was later in the 1800s that the state of Illinois recognized Massac County. Now, that is the rich history that we have here, but of course Metropolis is known for something else, and that's Superman. It was in 1972 that the then Massac County Chamber of Commerce and National Periodicals, which is now DC Comics slash Warner Brothers, came into an agreement to name Metropolis, Illinois, the adopted home of Superman. So in June 9th of 1972, there was a state resolution officially naming Metropolis the adopted home of Superman. We celebrate all the heritage here in Metropolis every year. In June, we have the Superman celebration that brings comic fans and Superman fans in from around the world. And in October, we celebrate the rich heritage of Fort Massac State Park with the Grand Encampment, the third weekend of June every year. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We love visiting these beautiful towns in our area and love meeting the people. And as always, as I say, the treasures are not just the antiques we find, but it's the people and places that we discover along the way. We hope you come back and see us again when we'll visit another wonderful location on the hunt for treasures. Take care. A lot changes in a year. Imagine though, if you could press pause right now. Imagine being able to relive those moments over and over and over again. What would that mean to you? What would that mean to them? What are the things you want to remember? And what do you want them to remember about you? Is it the way you held them? The way you tickled them? Or the things you taught them about life? Whatever it is, let's bottle it up for you and for them because they're only ever going to be this little once this is what a family film looks like 
It's about preserving your memories for them. Book yours today. <laughs>